Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, welcome. Thank you, teacher. We are just waiting for the rest of class in order to start working. We are so close to finish. For the reason I ask you to check out the platform in order to be sure that you uh, already complete all the exercises necessary. Estamos cerca del cierre, por eso les pido que por favor revisen bien la, la plataforma para ver si nos hace falta alguna actividad y vayamos al día y poder entregar notas eh, un día después del de cierre del módulo. Estamos en espera de los demás compañeros para dar inicio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Teacher. Hello. Unida estamos ahorita en la cuatro. Yes. Okay. Estamos, ya le digo, página número 41. Okay. We are going to start page number 41. Addresses and places. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting the rest of the class. Sigo esperando el resto de la clase. Good evening. Hello, Erika. Welcome.
I got a listener. Rosalie is working now, maybe. And maybe it's driving, I don't know. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Dr. Jose Alejandro. Katia is there too. Hello, Katia. Sandra, even. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ana Victoria. Good evening. Good evening. Carlos is there too. Angel. Um, Erika, Ingrid, Diana, Mayra, Elizabeth. Let me see somebody else. Ismael. Good evening. Hello, good evening, sir. How are you? How are you? Very fine, thank you. Okay. Uh, por ahí les envié alguna información referente a los temas que hemos estado viendo eh, últimamente. Espero les hayan ayudado. Ahí a clarificar algunas dudas. Sí, la vieron, ¿cierto? Ya sí, sí. No la vieron. Ah, oh, no. Y yo mientras estaba esperando subir mi vídeo, dije voy a buscar algo que le sirva. Y se los envié ya tarde, pero se los envié. Así es que I'm sorry si ya estaban dormidos y les sonó ahí. Pero en mi caso, yo sigo después de que hago el cierre, me toca esperar subir el vídeo hasta que ya esté listo. Así es esto. Ok, I, I already got 16. Tengo 16. Um, well, let me see.
Okay, let me see. What we're going to do now is Okay, first of all, I'm going to uh, check out the attendance. Primero vamos a realizar la asistencia. In order that we can start doing, okay, let me see. Let me see here. Okay, uh, only has 15, the same amount. Some more, some more, some more, some. Okay, Anna Victoria. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, uh, Andres. <laughs> Present teacher, present teacher. Angel. Present teacher. Brenda Natalie. Brenda Natalie. Not here. Uh, Carlos. I'm here. Diana Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Erika. Present teacher. Evelyn Carino. Present teacher. Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Ismael Ernesto. Present teacher. Jose Alejandro. Present teacher. Eso. Julia Janet. Julia Janet. No hay. 
Katia. Present teacher. Luis Armando. Marvin Alexander. Mayra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Michael. Rosalie. Present teacher. Sandra. Present teacher. And Sonia Smeralda. Present teacher. Ahí se nos está pintando el... filtrando el, el sonido de un micrófono. Eh, teacher, soy Gonzalo. Aquí estoy. ¿Lo? Soy Andrés. Lo dije presente, disculpe. Ok. Okay, this is class number 17. The topic for today is how to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. That is the main topic for us. But um, in order to talk about this topic, uh, first of all, what we need to do is just to make a review. We are going to talk about the previous topic and you are going to tell me what do you remember about. Okay, tell me. Somebody? Hagamos un repaso así breve sobre el tema anterior para poder enlazarlo con el de hoy. ¿Qué es lo que recuerda usted? Preposition. Oh, ok, preposition. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más? Preposition de on, at, in. Ok. Esas las puedo usar en dos formas. Las que vimos el día de ayer eran sobre qué? Location. Ok, location. Preposition of place. What else? ¿Qué más? Preposition of time. Okay, we, we, we talk about that too. Okay, I guess it's better if I show you something you resolve. Okay, I'll try to resolve these A sentences using uh, on, in, and at. And also, uh, you are going to use some of the preposition that I showed you yesterday. Ahí vamos a utilizar algunas que también eh, les mostré el día de ayer. Como in front of, between, next to. Okay, tell me. 
Who wants to resolve the third one? Quien me resuelve la uno, por favor, number one. The teacher sit from the student, in front of the student. Okay, the teacher sit in front of the student. Okay. Number two. Estén en la en la que esté en la línea. Me smell so bad. Smell so bad. Sí. Hello. Okay. The girl is standing in the line. Me smells so bad. La chica que está en la línea de mí huele muy mal. Tell me the proposition. Near? Mm, acuérdese que la chica va en la línea. Y dice, me. ¿Dónde estará de mí? Back me. ¿Será, será in back? Front. In front. Ah, será in front of. Ok. The girl standing in the line in front of me is me also back. Y la que va adelante es la que es me also back. Okay, number three. Who was the person you car? Who was the person you car? In your car. In your car. Mm -hmm. Será in or será qué? Piensa, piensa. Okay, at the end, I'm going to give you the answer. Uh, number four, I had to slow down because there was a police car. I had to slow down because there was a police car. Tuve que bajar la velocidad. Because there was a police car. Donde? Next to? Mm, next to? You are driving. Usted va manejando. Cuando de repente tiene que bajar la velocidad porque hay un carro de policía. ¿A dónde? Adelante. Sí. Dime. In front of? In front of me, could be. In front of me. El compañero dijo behind. Or could be behind me too. Because in, not right here in El Salvador, but in the United States, if you see a car behind you, you need to slow down. Al menos en, en Estados Unidos, si usted ve por el retrovisor el carro de policía detrás de usted, ahí tiene que calmarse. Que de repente le va a encender las lucecitas y le va a decir buenos días. 
primero se va a quedar ahí buscando la placa en su carro, en su computador y ya luego le va a decir que necesita hacer algo. Ok, number five, the number seven is the number six and eight. The number seven Between. is... Hello? Between. Between the number six and eight, okay. And number six, there is a C, England and French. Oh, wow. England. England. Oh, on England. Repeat. There is a G on England and French. Mm -hmm. Try to look for another option. Look there is a C in England. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Between England and France. Ah, okay. There is a C between England and France. Hay un océano entre Inglaterra y Francia. Okay. Gar stand. The entrance of the theater. Los guardias permanecen en la entrada del teatro. Preposition. At the entrance. Será? In the entrance of the theater. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take Next. a look at the, at the final, uh, the final words. The entrance of the theater. La entrada del teatro. In front of. Ah, could be in front of too. Okay. Number A. She walked me as we went down the street. On me. On me. She woke on me as we went down the street. Are you two? Next to a la par de mí. A la par mía. Ah, uh, she was next to me as we went down the street. Okay. Masons. Masons. <laughs> Okay, tiene sentido. I'm going to stop it. Let me see something here. And I'm going to show you the answer in order that you can take a look at it. Okay, the first one says, the teacher sit in front of the student. The child who wants who want to read the second one. Alguien que lea por favor la second one. The girl is standing in the line in front of me still so bad. The girl is standing in the line in front of me smells so bad, okay. Number three, who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Who was that person behind your car? Oh, okay. Who was the person behind your car? Makes sense. Next. Uh, I had to slow um sure. I had to slow down because there are there was a police a police car behind me. Okay. I had to slow down because there was a police car uh behind me. Okay. The next one said uh the number seven is between the number six and eight. Okay. Somebody else uh, wants to read the next one? Uh, 
there is there is a sea between England and France. Okay, and we miss we miss this one. The next one says, "Girl, stand next to the entrance of the theater next to." And the last one, she walked beside me as we went down the street. Besides me, me, me uh, next to it is almost the same. That's the to miss me. Okay. I'd like to show you um, the next activity. We talked about a little bit about this yesterday. Ayer hablamos un poco sobre esto. Okay, said as some classmates where they were play is located. We talked something similar, yes, right? Para los que no lo hicieron en día de ayer, you are going to have the chance to uh, share the information. What about Marvin? Tell us uh, where is located your workplace? Uh, the location. Mm. Uh, ¿Cómo sería teacher kilómetro? Kilometer. 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 Uh, my work. Seven and a half kilometers, okay. siete y medio. Kilometer. Okay, kilometer. Kilometer. Okay. My word is in the, 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 in Olocuilta, in kilometer, kilometer 28. Kilometer, kilometer 28, okay. 28, yes. And that's it. It's it is next to something. It is uh, between. Está a la par de algo. Ah, okay. Entre, if or not. Um, uh, is the only. The only building the, that is there. Ajá, es, es solo una empresa la que está cabal en, sobre la carretera. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. It's a single one. Yes. It's única. Yes. Oh. Is there. Uh -huh. Okay. Somebody else wants to share the address? What about you, Mayra? I don't know. I don't remember if you tell us the address where do you work. Mayrita nos dijo ayer dónde trabajaba la dirección, ¿no? Sí. Oh. I, I, my company is located in Pierce and en, en, en Novena, no sé, me quedó. ¿Cómo se decía Novena? Nine. Nine, Pierce and Nine Street, um, Barrio Concepción, La Unión, La Unión. Ok. Okay, thank you. Choose someone, choose someone, and just say the name. Elige a alguien, por favor. Evelyn, Evelyn Karina. Está muy callada. Estoy enfermo, pero está bien. Uh, my company, uh, Lara Street, Team Avenue. 
San Jacinto next ne, neighborhood. Okay. To someone, to someone. At the moment that you are given an address, try to be uh, very clear in order that people can understand exactly. Okay, somebody else. Look for somebody else, please. Me teacher. Um, my company is located in, in residential veranda on principal street house number five. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else? No? Me teacher. Okay, Diana. Is company optical and accessories in Avenue 25, uh, Avenue no, Norte, uh, next from um, Universidad Pedagógica. Uh, next to uh, school, Colegio Guadalupano. Next to. Okay. Next to. Next to. Colegio okay. Guadalupano. Yes. Okay, thank you. Let us see what we have next. Second, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we are going to practice this conversation. So try to, to see it. This okay, listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with the pattern. This conversation in be is between Will and Tanya. Hello, can you help me? Microphone, 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 please. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here, don't worry. There are four buildings. 
which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Read it, please. And uh, let me know if you have problems with uh, some words. We try to identify first uh, all the difficult work for you. And I am I'm going to read again in order that you can understand it better. Okay, I'm going to read again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Hello, can you help me? Where, where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something now. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay, before to go to the breakout room, I need a volunteers appears in order that can play the, the conversation. Solo dos, por favor, solo dos. Katia, okay, you can ask. And Marvin, okay, okay, okay. Katia, you start and Marvin continue. Or, okay, hold on. Almost, uh, no. Marvin is going to be Will and you are going to be Tanya, okay? Okay. Start. Hello. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne, Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. Where are for building? Which one do you need? I get to me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it's, it's down the street on the fifth side. Thanks. I had to ask you sometimes, Health, is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I had some, I had some interview, interview views there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I'm going to be again the way a little now is much. Try to um, write down the pronunciation, maybe or some words. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Where is Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. Listen, there are there are four buildings. Which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something now. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. 
uh, soon interviewed there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, question? Any question? No question? Okay, si no hay preguntas, haga un uh, screenshot, por favor. Y luego nos vamos a practicar en el breakout room. Teacher, no? what is the meaning for what is what is Melbourne? Uh, Melbourne, Melbourne building. It's a name. It's, it's, a, name. it's a name of the building. For, the okay. Melbourne, Melbourne building. Yes, is a name. What about what about this one involved? What is the meaning? What significates that there are is there? I. I. Huh? I, pero en plural. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, yeah, I consider you already. Uh, Took the screenshot, right? Ya tomaron la, la captura, ¿cierto? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to create the break down room. Number 17. Okay, hold on. Let me see how many people I got for this one. One, two, three. Permítanme reagrupar los listeners en uno solo para que no nos. Porque ellos posiblemente están ocupados. Por eso me da los números. Ok, acérdeme la invitación, por favor.
No se escucha, teacher. Teacher. Hello, I'm here again. Hello. Ahora sí. Okay, who wants to be the phone? Okay, Sandra, Ivette, Mendoza, de Flores. Go ahead. With who, teacher? With, with my partner? Yes. I, I lost. You lost your, your partner? Mm, Carlos. <laughs> I find it. Hello. Somebody? Carlos, maybe? Boy, 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 boy. Sandra, Carlos is there. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask uh, you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between May and Queen Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Next, next, please. Next. No sé si Equipo, lo estoy oyendo entrecortado. No sé si Mayra o Evelyn quiere que leamos. Este, Mayra o Evelyn, para que leamos. Este, <risa> no, al final quedó solo, solo, solo ni, eh, Ana Victoria y Evelyn, porque creo que yo estaba de más en la sala y luego el chiste me sacó y me envió con Esmeralda. Okay, 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 let's do it, let's do it. Okay. Bueno, Evelyn, leemos. Okay. Empecemos, por favor. Empieza usted. Hello, can you help me? What is the metal building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There, there are four buildings. We, one, do you need? Uh, gear, tone. Told me to go to the building on Main Street. I can't know it. It down the uh, street on the left side. Thanks. Have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building, but between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Can I see you? Or can I see you? Mayra, leemos. Ok. Um, I will. Uh, hello, can you help me? Where is the mailbox building? I don't like here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Watch. One do you need? A girl told me to be the building on my street. I know. It is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training, training centers on 
the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, okay. thank you. No, los que no han participado. Erika, para los míos, Erika. Hello, teacher. Um, me tocó con José Alejandro Cruz. Okay, ahí está, ahí está, don Alejandro. Aquí estamos. <ríe> ahí estamos. Démosle, démosle. Démosle, pues. ¿A mí es usted? ¿Quién empieza? ¿Se yo? Usted. Ok. Hello, can you help me? Where is the neighbor building? I don't like here. Don't, don't worry, there are four building. Way, what do you need? I, I give a lot to me go. Uh, to the building on the main street. Although it is down day straight on the late side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. There is a train center. There are a post training center of day bully and beacon my and king straight. I have some interview there. Thanks you. I can. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Okay, take a look at this. I'm going to read it again. Lo voy a leer una vez más. Okay, hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't. I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building. On Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kim Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Somebody else wants to read it? No? Rosalie, Rosalie is there. Rosalie, Rosalie. You are the one. Okay, my partner is Marvin. Marvin, okay. Yes. You can do it, Marvin. Si quiere, empieza usted, Rosalie. Okay. Um, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I not it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I, ha I have to ask, to ask you something else. Is there a train center. There are a lot of, of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you. Somebody's missing. Who's missing? Can you can't help them. Ah, Katia. Katia, se me quedó calladita, Pablo. Es que mi compañera está de listener y no sé si puede. Who's your, who's your partner? Ismael. Ah, ok. Ismael is there. Yeah, he's there. He's there. Uh, 
quiere comencemos. Okay. Hello, can you help me? Where is, where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, they are for building. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on the main street. I know it. It's down on the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and the King Street. I have something, I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Yes, all of you. Um, okay, maybe somebody else. What about Ingrid? Okay. ¿Ya participó? No, mi compañera fue Diana, creo. Uh -huh. Pero... Yes. Ahora. Voy a empezar yo. Ok. Hello, can you hear me? Where is that my board building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it's a door, the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask. Do something easy. Is there a trading center? There are a lot of trading centers on the building between May and King Street. I have some interview. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't know. Somebody is missing. No, sé si se fue. No? Okay, let me explain this. Our main topic uh, said there is and there are. Both expressions mean I. Ambas expresiones significan I. Con la diferencia que the first one is singular and the second one is plural. La primera es singular y la segunda es plural. Pero es para decir I, the existencia de algo. For example, there is and there are. Take a look. Somebody wants to read it. Alguien, si no participó en la anterior, puede leer, por favor. Who wants to read it? Katia, see? There is a car in the picture. Okay, the next one. There is a hospital in the picture. Here is one helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. Helicopter. Okay, now take a look at this. We are using is because Right here, we have singular name. Okay, Rosalie, could, could you read the next one, the next two line, please? The next two examples. There are four buildings in the pictures. There are eight trees in the pictures. Okay. Uh, tell me what happened with the with the S in different color. ¿Qué sucede con las letras S que están de color? Que no están se, se convierten en plural, en plural. 
uh -huh. edificios, okay. árboles, buildings, trees, etc. For the reason we are using R. When we are going to use uh, plural nouns, we are going to use R here. And a singular, we are going to use is. Try to keep in mind. Bien clarito está. Okay, this is the negative form. There isn't an atom. I want to read it. Who wants to do it? There isn't a car in the picture. Next one. There isn't a person in the picture. There isn't a dog in the picture. There aren't buildings in the picture. There aren't cars in the picture. And there aren't people in the picture. Let me move a little bit. Okay, hold on. We need to take care of the picture. This is the picture. This is the picture. You need to take a look. I at can this. see the picture, teacher. Yeah, you need to see the picture. This is the picture. Can you see it now? Yes? Spring flow. Okay, there isn't a car in the picture. We, we can find a car here. There isn't a car. No hay ningún carro ahí. There isn't a person in the picture. Yeah, difficult to see a person. Just this, this is, it's not a person. It's a, it is a picture. There isn't a dog in the picture. There aren't buildings in the picture. Well, I guess it's, uh, it's kind of easy. In this case, for example, if we are talking about Pluto, we are going to use aren't. Al momento de que hablemos de plurales, usamos aren y eh, tiene que llevar a dependiendo el AS. Ok, let me see what else I have here. Ok, take a look at this picture. And I don't know if you can see it, it, this uh, circle. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Kim Kirbel. Okay, Ingrid, thank you. I don't know if I can, uh, okay. Put it in this way in order that you can see the pictures here. Okay, read it. And let me know if you can see the, the letter. Eh, esa palabra, Richie, eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia la teacher? Which one? Rich? Rich. There is a bridge in the city. Yes, it's, it is this. It's el point. Okay, the next one. There are some houses. There are some trees. There isn't a, a hospital hospital in the city. There aren't any skyscrapers in the city. There aren't any restaurants in this part of the city. Okay, thank you. As you can see, uh, we are using is uh, in singular and are in plural, but in this case, we are combining with son y neo. Aquí estamos haciendo combinaciones con cuantificantes, son and any. Préstele atención, por favor, a son and any. Let me get bigger for you. Vamos a hacerlo más grandecito. Okay, présteme la atención a son and any, por favor. There is a rich in the city. There are some houses. There are some trees. Ojo con eso. 
cuando son más de uno uso son algunos algunas casas algunos árboles there isn't a hospital in this city there aren't any any lo voy a usar en negativas por eso dice there aren't any skyscraper in this city no hay ningún rascacielos en esta ciudad There aren't any restaurant in this part of the city. No hay ningún restaurante en la parte, en esta parte de la ciudad. Ok, necesito que entienda el uso de some and vea los ejemplos. And tell me something. Ingrid tiene mano arriba todavía. ¿Qué pasó? No. Son un N, esos son cuantificadores, esmeralda o llana. Teacher, solo para que me quede claro, entonces utilizamos son cuando es más de uno, o sea, cuando es en plural. Yes, y cuando es positivo. Y cuando es positivo. Siempre siendo más de uno, aunque sea positivo. Sí. Y si es negativo y es en singular, usamos a any. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Any. Any, perdón. Sí, pero no, vale. no, 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 es que sea, no es que sea singular. Ojo con eso. Si usted observa, if you take care of, of the sentence, for example, this but there aren't any skyscrapers. Y aquí está en plural, ¿verdad? Lo que sucede es que para negativo voy a usar en, para positivo voy a usar son. Ah. ¿Sí? Sí, entiendo. Ok. So, María, ¿alguien más tiene alguna pregunta? No preguntas. No question, okay. I'm going to move forward. Teacher. Hello. Cuando usamos el there is are es para para singular. No, there is es singular, sí. Y Ajá. there are es plural. They are there are. Sí. Okay. Okay. Let, let me let me make a stop here. Voy a hacer un alto aquí. Then, okay. Uh, look around you uh, in your room where you are. Observe alrededor de donde usted se encuentra. And try to use there is and there are. Create at least one sentence with each. Y créeme una oración con there is y una con there are. There is en singular y there are en plurales. Veamos quién lo hace. Tell me. You don't need to write down the sentence. Repeat teacher. Okay, what I need is that you take um, take a look around you, que vea alrededor de donde está usted ubicada, and create two sentences, y cree dos oraciones, una en, usando there is y otra usando there are, de lo que tiene ahí, en su alrededor donde está. There are Two cup of coffee. There are two cup of coffee. There are two cup of coffees. Okay. There is a TV in my room. Ah, there is a TV in my room. Okay. There are four windows in my room. There are shoes under my bed. Ok, también necesito que me usen eh, son en any.
There are some paper on my desk. There is some tree. Come on, come on, come There is some tree. Será que podemos combinar así? There is consume. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Oh. No, porque son es para cuando hay más de uno y there is es para singular. And now tell me, how is the right way to, to say it? Okay, I'm going to show you again. Voy a mostrarles una vez más. Algo que ya había mostrado. Ok, observen bien, por favor. Teacher. Teacher. Hello. And, uh, uh, tengo dos oraciones, two sentences. And there are some toys on the floor. Y la negativa sería there aren't any toys on the floor. There aren't any toys. Okay, there aren't any toys. Okay, you got it. Ahí está. Okay, let me move a little bit. Okay, going back to the conversation, we need to answer this question. Based on the conversation, please try to answer this three question. How many Melba buildings are there? Uh, two, where is the building where will one school located? And number three, say how many training center are there? Where are they? Okay, try to understand these questions. And give an answer.
Okay, try to answer the question, please. There in the number one, there are four buildings. Okay, there are four buildings. Okay, number two. Number two. Number, Number two, two, please. Main, main street. Where is the building where we want to go located? The building is down the street on the left side. Okay. What about number three? How many training centers are there? Where are they? How many training centers are there? Where are they? Um, there are a lot of uh, training center. Where are they? Tell me. The building are between the main and the and King Street. Okay. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, number four say how many uh how to use there is and there are plus quantifier. Take a look at that chart, please. Observe for forest of quadro. There is an ATM across the street. There a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. And the last one said there's no clothing factory around the apartment. This is negative. Okay, and how we are going to use their R, like in Pluto, there are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. And the last one, there are no hospitals on Barrios Street. Okay, take a look at this example, please. Observemos bien los ejemplos, por favor. Y ahí está bien, claro, cuando es singular, cuando es plural. And, and, and even that we can make uh, or create sentences in a negative way. There's no flooding factors around the economy. Okay, let us try to resolve it. So number five, complete the exercise where there is or there are and a quantifier. You feel for Kevin screenshot for all. You get it? Okay, 
I'm going to start chilling. And try to resolve the exercise, please. Resolvamos el ejercicio, por favor. Okay, who wants to resolve number one? Number one marketing presentation of the street in the morning. There is marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe you miss something. Piece of falta. Una. Okay, read it. There read, is read, some. Read, read again, please. There, uh, there is some marketing presentation across in the street in the morning. Could be plural or singular. It is singular. It's singular. Okay, if it's if uh if we talk about singular. We, we need something else before. When we're singular, necesito poner algo adelante. Es lo que se falta. Algo que lo determina que es singular. I'm going to give you a hand that you can do it. There is a 
Ah, ah, ok. There is a... Pero Katy lo dijo. Ok, sí. Posiblemente yo no le oí. There is a marketing presentation. I'm sorry. Aquí ya. Across the street in the morning. Ok. Ok, thank you. Number two. Number two. There are some business workshop down the street. Okay, there are some business workshop down the street. Okay, right. Num number three. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Okay, because we have no right here. Number four. Number four. Tell me. There isn't a server on the core of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. There is no store, okay? Because we have no right here. Number five. Then behind the factory at work. Number five, please, fans behind the factory I work. There, there are, are there are bands. Okay, there are bands. Behind, behind. the factory I work I work. I work, okay. And now uh and the next one, sorry. It's gonna be number six, but there got number one. There is a Aranza building around the corner. Okay, could, could you repeat again, please? There is a Aranza building around the, com the corner. Okay, so what about the article? El, el determinante antes de Aranza. Um, um, there, um, there is an. Um, Okay, so on, because yeah. the next word starts with the power. Porque comienza yeah. con una, con una voz. Un sonido vocal. Un sonido, yes. ah, yeah. de vocal. Okay, that is the reason why. Okay, let me move a little bit because we need to do something. Here. Yeah. Okay, activity number six, create a conversation with the parent describing the place is that are around the building using the ground. For example, tell me, where do you work? I work in, you are going to put the name of your company? Where is it? You are going to say the location. Okay. It's, it's quite easy. It's a little easy for you to do this. Okay, let me stop. Tomen el modelo, por favor, de la conversación. Y ustedes incluso pueden hasta ampliar también.
Okay, we have more than 50 minutes to do it. Esta facilita porque tenemos más de 15 minutos. Tell me, where do you work? I work in... You are going to mention the name. Where is it? It is... And you, where do you work? Well, I work in a company that is located in these areas. And you are going to start communicating. Si gusta, le puede hacer una captura. Le quedan justamente, le decir, 50 minutes to do it. But in order that you can work on it, para que trabajemos, let me get you in pairs. Vamos a 15 minutes. Okay, hold on a second. I'm creating the book out of them. Tengo un problema porque el número que tengo es impar. Hay uno donde van a estar tres para que lo hayan trabajado. Okay, accept my invitation, please. And try to create the conversation with somebody else.
Okay, welcome back. Who wants to share the information? Who wants to do it? Who wants to do it? Hola, hola, hola. ¿Quién quiere hacer la conversación? Katia. Go ahead, Katia. Ok, my partner is Diana. Ok, go ahead, with Diana. Ok. Mira. Tell me where do you work? I don't work. Tell me where do you work, sorry. <laughs> Donde? Okay. I don't work. It's in hospital on the auditorium. Where is it? It is. Uh, 25 Avenue North, next to School, Wild Canon. Are you where do you work? Well, I work in Laboratory Spy. Uh, the company is located in between Seoul 88th Avenue. And S 10 Street, San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. well. In this teacher. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you. Next. Next. Siguiente, por favor. No, anybody else? Teacher, a mí me tocó con Esmeralda. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Uh, Esmeralda, tell me where do you work? I work in uh, financial. Where is it? Where is? It? Sería, espérame. This located in... This located in... Um, a street... El Boquerón. Calle El Boquerón. Boquerón Street, ok. Boquerón Street, building de Cora. Eh... Urbanization Santa Elena. Okay. It is, and you? Where do you work? Uh, I am work hardware store. Where is, where is, where is? This look is 
Obispo Beach in front of the Texaco Gas Department La Libertad. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Texaco Gas Station. Gas Gas Station. Texaco Gas Station. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, welcome. Well, the rest are, are going to do it tomorrow at the beginning of the class. You are not the one that said it at the mission. Yeah, the tennis is in one part. Okay, let me check out the attendance. Anna Victoria, are you there? Yes, thank you. Thank you, um, Andres. Andres? Andres? Present teacher. Okay, Angel Giovanni? Present teacher. Brenda? Brenda, not here. Okay. Uh, Carlos? Right here. Diana? Present teacher. Erica? Present teacher. Evelyn? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ingrid Elizabeth. Present teacher. Ismael. Present teacher. Okay. Ismael. Present. Okay. Uh, Alejandro. Present teacher. Julia Yanet. No, here is okay, not here. Katia? Present teacher. Luis Armando? Marvin? Present teacher. Mayra? Present teacher. Michael? Rosalie? Present teacher. Sandra? Present teacher. And Sonia. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Um, la tutoria le correspondía este día a Michael Enrique Barrera. That is now here. It's now here. Okay, another thing that I would like to remember you is that you need to resolve all the exercises in the platform. Please try to do it as soon as you can. Eh, un favor sí pedirles que traten de resolver las actividades de la plataforma lo más pronto posible para que puedan salir a tiempo. Eh, todavía no les ha llegado el correo de la encuesta, ¿cierto? Ok, esperemos. No, no todavía no, teacher. Sí, esperemos que el día de mañana les aparezca. No la vayan a realizar solos, por favor. Para eso tenemos un espacio de tiempo prudente para poder ir rellenando paso a paso y que no haya ningún error. Así nos evitamos que Insafor eh, nos haga esa nota de, de que por estar así a la rápida cometimos errores. Tenemos que tener el orden de registro, el nombre de la empresa, el número de teléfono, el correo con el que se inscribió. El, bueno, todos esos datos son importantes. Así que a estar listos y el quien pueda hacerlo en una compra el día viernes. Hay que ir al stand para ver si arranca todavía o cómo está. Ok, thank you very much. And okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. So bad. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you, see you.